To this now, suicide is the third leading cause of death in 15 to 24 year olds, according to the National Institute of Mental Health. A local high school is raising awareness about the mental health crisis in teenagers. CBS 13's Dina Kupfer brings us the mission from Carmichael. As part of a social justice summit here at Jesuit High School, staff here at this school held an assembly about mental health awareness, and they had guest speaker Kevin Hines, who is a suicide survivor and activist. He shared his very personal story of his failed suicide attempt off of the Golden Gate Bridge. I got to live on September 25th of the year 2000 when I went to the Golden Gate Bridge to try to end my life. Nearly two decades later, addressing the entire student body at Jesuit High School, Kevin Hines reflects on that fateful day in the Bay. I was compelled to die there because of uh, suicidal thoughts, voices in my head, not that of my conscience, and severe depression. And uh, I, I was at a place in my life where I thought I had to end it all, but I was wrong. 19 years old at the time and suffering from bipolar disorder, Kevin jumped. The nearly 240 foot drop took roughly four seconds. His body hit the frigid water at speeds of up to 75 miles per hour. Miraculously, Kevin Hines survived, given a second chance at life. Nearly 1,700 people have died by suicide off of the Golden Gate Bridge since it was erected in 1937. Kevin is one of 36 survivors. He is now happily married with a new perspective on life and travels the world sharing his story of hope, healing, and recovery. How are you now? You know, I'm, I'm very blessed, very thankful to, to exist. All of these kids, we hope we affect change today and we absolutely transform their minds and give them hope. Yes, yeah, powerful presentation, no doubt. Construction began last year on a suicide barrier at the Golden Gate Bridge. And mental health experts hope when the net is completed in 2021, the suicide rate will drop to zero.